So we got Vic's head and according to the map we're supposed to plug her head in here, which is weird. Why would they put this VR console right outside the gates? But never mind, let's Vic's place that in? in here. Awesome. Now get in that digital torture room and save her, bro! Okay, that we will. Vaughn, I'm really gonna start getting annoyed because of his voice, but here we go. You're in okay. The bro. Vic's somewhere Wait. in there. You gotta find her and break her out. Take her to the exit console inside the construct. That'll rebuild her body in the meat space. I need my best bronette in one meaty piece. Okay. Oh, BT dubs. That's a bit when weird. When her, it probably fragmented her recent memories. You're gonna have to try to find them so you can remind her who she is when she wakes up. This, this is just a filter on top of the existing level. This is not normal, but I'm assuming we can just uh, spend our skill points like this then. So next up we're gonna go into Salvation, which is a kill skill, and after killing an enemy, Zane's weapons gain lifesteal for a few seconds, which means we get 2% uh, of our damage back in health, and it actually lasts for 8 seconds, which is pretty nice. And that's gonna continue to go up, up to 10% if I fully deploy that. And this 3L actually has a few interesting things for the drone, but we'll get to that later on. There we go, and the first of Vic's memories is supposed to be in here, and it's of course just an audio log. Memory fragment one. What up, me? Our idiot in chief Vaughn finally made one good decision and made me the new deputy war chief of the Sun Smashers. He took a slap in time replacing deputy head cheese after he belly flopped into a freaking acid pit. Man, that dude knew how to party. Vaughn's all right, I guess, but he's no head cheese. Okay. So, seems like Vic doesn't hold Vaughn into a high standard. What the hell is that gun? And this this is really weird now, with all of this happening. There's something up there. Shoot the gun, buddy! What are you firing? It's a fire gun, but... Where did he go? There we go. Ooh, he goes off the... Ow, ow. Dug it. Uh, thrown, I mean. And then let's turn that into a... Ooh, yeah, I forgot about that. I can heal myself with the uh, the shield. This is a new session for me. Because uh, it's probably mixed into the rest of the episode. There we go. Oh god, that's that's too close. Too close for my comfort. This, the, the, the overlay because of the the virtual reality stuff is really, really disorienting. Especially with this gun. I'm just gonna... Oh, no, this is... I think I'm gonna give epilepsy to a few people. Like this. Boop. And there we go. And then the shotgun. I do love shotguns in Borderlands 3. They give you such a kick. According to the map, there's still one here. I mean, look at her fly. Ooh, and that was in the face. Oh, I kind of hit that generator thingy. Okay, but the second one of Vic's audio logs is supposed to be over here. Yeah, I kind of tried to mimic Hammerlock there, but there you go. Fragment two. Yo, me, check this out. We found this crazy alien thing in the desert today. Brought it back to camp thinking we could sell it to the children of the vault. Those idiots are always buying crazy alien stuff like that. We're gonna be slapping rich. Slap and Rich, so that's the point where Vaughn's uh, clan actually found the Vault Key. And they wanted to sell it to, of course, the Children of the Vault. Okay. Oh, and she died in the acid pool. Okay, so those guys are fine. I have no idea what's lying on the ground as well with this overlay, because it looks like crap. But we need to head back into the broadcast center. Which kind of makes sense that they were actually full torturing her over there. Ooh, that's green guns. Okay, so back inside the broadcast center, we've seen all of this already. So I'm just going to move forward and grab another audio log right here. So Vic's third memory. So we were at the point where they found the vault key. And what's going to happen next? We kind of know already. I showed Vaughn the crazy alien thing and he got super weird. Told me to hide it. Ugh! The whole clan could eat barking caviar for months if we sold it to the COB. Now I look like the asshole because I have to tell the clan we're not selling it. Slap an idiot in chief. He doesn't know what's going on.
good for the clan. So of course we know that Vaughn didn't want to sell it because he wanted to give it to Lilith, but of course Fic didn't agree with him on that. But then the last one is right over here. There's no enemies for some reason. Four. It's go time, me. This mouthpiece idiot wants that alien thing, and Vaughn won't sell it. We must be the last clan on Pandora that hasn't joined up with the COV. The Sun Smashers need new leadership. You know who I'm talking about with me. Did you get all the memories? Oh, I can't wait to hear them myself. You know, Vic and I are tight. Our voice is so supportive. Go get my best bro net out of that simulation! Okay, so Vaughn still thinks that um, Vic really likes him, and he really likes her. I'm just gonna dive away from my own grenades there. And I'm still using the amp shield, so... It's gonna let the battlefield a bit. Let's throw that over there. Um, there's still one alive. There we go. And there's a turret glowing around. There we go. I do love that the Shultans actually have some reach to them as well. There we go. Bounced it right into her. And then we can use the pistol. Oh, to, to finish off this lock. I don't know why the music stopped. That's one down. Ah, he's he's hiding behind cover as well. So these guns are supposed to actually break, but I don't know how that's going to work. Because it still hasn't broken for me at least. It has a sort of cooldown effect on it. But for now, this seems to be fine. I'm also killing dudes left and right with this thing. Which is awesome. So Vic is supposed to be over here. We're still in a kind of simulation. I'm getting used to the overlay for some reason. But uh, that's gonna be... Oh, she's actually physically here. Come on, time to break you out. No, can't leave. He'll twist my arms off again. It hurts so bad. But then they grow back. I don't understand. It's happened like 50 times already. Hands off my captive! There's a Netflix show that kind of does the same thing. Oh, gold. Oh, this guy has armor. This guy has armor. How am I going to deal with this? I'm just going to litter the place with grenades. I'm just going to go back a bit. Oh, gold. I'm going to send a drone out just to get me some extra kills if needs be. There she goes. And there we go. Let's throw that in his face. Oh, with the shotgun, I can't keep juggling him because he's a dink. Oh god. Oh, there's somebody firing at me from the back. I'm just gonna go here because I think this thing actually has health as well. Oh god, I kind of threw my own shotgun away. Okay, so this is fine. They're not following me either. That was a weapon. That was a weapon. So let's get back in. Here you go. Well, here you go. There we go. There goes the interrogator and the lost fanatic. Ooh. What the hell is happening? I don't slap and understand. You don't remember? We tried to stage an elaborate surprise party, and it's all gone horribly wrong. This is slapping weird. I'm freaking out. You gotta get me out of here. So Vic obviously is freaking out because they probably uh, submitted her to some pretty terrible tortures. Because she was talking about ripping her arms off and then they're growing back because this is virtual reality. So basically for her this is all real. But they can do to her whatever they want because she will never die. Because we, remember we still put her head in a jar in that station at the beginning of this mission. So but since this is basically the same level it's a bit weird. Okay, this guy is not going to break. So now we just need to follow her out. Back to her own head, I suppose. But I don't know how that's going to save her, because her head is still detached from her body. But we did pick up this nice new revolver. I wanted to get rid of the dubstep gun for a second, because that was going to... That was turning into a bit of uh, too much too much of a light show. So we're going to stick to this for now. A very powerful Jacob's handgun. Jacob's revolver. So we're almost back to where we put her head in, so I don't know what's gonna exactly happen right now. Because maybe her consciousness is gonna get back into her head? I suppose something like that. Let's see. Hello? Vic? You gonna do something? 
Ludovic. I actually have a character that's modeled just for a side quest then. There we go. Let's push the button and exit the simulation. And there we go. Okay. Now, w wait. W wait. This... How... How does this work? That... That doesn't make it any sense. Because that's your head. You shouldn't have a head. Unless they kind of digestructed their whole body again, but... Wait. Let's talk to her. Uh, what a slapping nightmare. Thanks for getting me out of there. Vic! You're, you're alive! I mean, technically. Wait. He's talking to me! Hey, Vaughn. Look, I'm a slapping idiot. The COV are messed up. We tried joining them and all they did was murder and torture us. In that order! I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be pretty brutal with you right now, Vic. I'm gonna need you to give me a hundred apology push-ups. Oh, Vaughn with done, his fucking apology push-ups. We got a new clan now. Go Crimson Raiders. Crimson Raiders? Yeah, I can dig it. Hey, as long as you're doing the push-ups. Oh, hey. You saved my slap in life. Here. I nabbed this crazy gun while we were in that never-ending digital hell prison. You can have it. It's all yours. That sounds awesome. Well, it's a blue awkward. one. Oh, come on. I mean, I always wanted more me time, right? This is perfect. I get to hang with my favorite person. I mean, are you me or am I you? Whoa. Mind alone, right? And I'm like 80% mind right now. Do I need to, like feed you or whatever i think whatever this stuff i'm floating in is keeping me going i don't even have a digestive system anymore but i do have taste buds how about you just drip some gravy in here for me you're living the dream maybe getting connected to a torture device for a simulated eternity of unspeakable horrors wasn't such a bad deal after all yeah high five dude not cool <laughs> Oh, right. Sorry. No, not cool indeed. How the hell this is? And wait, Vic, 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 you're running in the wrong direction. You're heading back to the place you were being tortured at. It looks like a hellhole from here. Okay, Vic. Goodbye. Um, so I don't know how that works because the consciousness was um, reproduced as well. Although it kind of might make sense in the sense that we're also respawning every time we die. So we're reconstructed the same way. Still, it's a bit weird because now there's two Vicks. Kind of makes you wonder how many Zanes there are in this universe. Although I haven't technically respawned yet in this game, I think. So, okay. What other, have to, other things do we have? We have the posters. The posters for Vaughn's, uh, Vaughn's statues that we need to make. So let's do that since we're still in the right area for this. What the hell is this? I found a container, but there's like a, some weird ass sarcophagus in there, but it's locked. Looks like a travel case of some sort, but it, is that a, supposed to be a T? That's weird. But we also found a gun. Well, we got a gun from Vic, but they never really showed us what the gun is. Is it that weird blue thing? What's that? No, it was supposed to be a sniper rifle, right? Oh, there it is. The Brashi's Dedication. Three sims are better than one. So I can swap between shock and corrosive damage. Okay. And it has a times three modifier. Maybe I should actually read... Ooh. So that's... Shock. And I can go into... Ah, and corrosive is the more bigger zoom. What happens if I... What the f... Okay. Okay. So there's three bullets, one goes in the center, and the other two just circle around it. That's a bit weird, but it only wastes one bullet every time you do that. So we can apply shock, well, the elemental effects rather quickly, I suppose. And I'm actually going to swap, see if I can swap my shotgun out for something else as well. Not really, I want to swap out as much as I can, but I'm not going to do it just because I want to do it. So let's just respawn our vehicle and go check out those posters. Ooh, look at that. It's like a floating campsite. It's supposed to be, I think we need to go around according to the map and then this is probably the entrance. Yeah, this is the entrance. Okay, let's go take a look. 
So as long as it's shock, it's doing fine. But there are more of these statues here. Oh, hi, fanatic. Can actually just use it without zooming. Wait, what? Is, it, is this guy dressed like a zombie? He looks a bit weird. There he goes. Same ferocity flint. Yeah, definitely. So that's that gun. I'm just gonna use. Oh, there we go. Hi, psychos. Maybe actually use the snapper rifle. Okay, it doesn't do a lot of damage though. It takes a lot of shots to kill someone. And I apparently don't really store a lot of shots in my gun. So, first wanted poster. Ooh, he's looking rather nicely there. The whitey tidy madman. <laughs> wanted for crimes of being a sun smasher, refusing to wear pants, cutting donuts in half, and general obnoxiousness. Yeah, sounds about right. Now that is a quality wanted poster. It really shows off the old blood hand. Started wearing that during blood feud number two. No, it was three. That's right, because number two was the time I declared war against the mountain. Guess which one's still standing, bro? Death to mountains! Okay, please don't make fawn capable of taking down somebody called the mountain. It's kind of disrespectful to Game of Thrones. Nope, you go flying off there. Did he? Oh, did he die? He didn't. He's, he did now. Uh... I think I accidentally killed the other one. Wow, that was a zoom on the face of that thing. So they, they changed the name of the little guys, the Tinks, because of course it was too um, insulting to, you know, little people. People with limited height. And they turned it into Tinks, which is a, a bit of a weird term. If I do say so. If I can say so. So that's... Just a poster of his junk? That's weird. I don't remember anyone snagging that picture, but I can't blame him. Those are my trusty Hyperion Red Bar X 2000s with Quicksilver Fly and No Rise Banding. Oh, best underwear in the universe, bro. It's the only good thing Hyperion ever gave me. He's talking about underwear again. Those ones. Nice fella. Just between you and me, they're the source of all my power. Shh. Okay, totally not weird, Vaughn. Please shut up. Shut up. What happened to this guy? There's usually no corpses just lying around. That's a bit weird. Oh, I just... Yeah, that's... That's probably not that one. It's freaking out. Uh, freaking out somewhere. There it goes. Kind of killed my shotgun again accidentally. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. So let's go find that final poster. Ooh, weapons just always nice to see. Always nice to see. I like lo ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. the resolute brachni. So this was also a brachni, I think. But this one, bipod reduces recoil sway and increases accuracy. That looks like an amazing sniper rifle. Let's equip that instead. This is actually ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. who am I gonna kill with this? Are there any enemies across the map? Is that can Ooh, there's another weapons chest up there, though. You can see the final poster from here, even. I don't see enemies, though, and the, the aim is a bit weird, but... This is a cool gun. I like the design, the new design of the Vladov weapons, because they really have this Russian militaristic vibe to them, but a, a bit futuristic as well, which is cool. Um, I have been playing, full disclosure, I have been playing a bit with the Beastmaster in between recordings with uh, my pal and uh, my cousin. And I really like the, the Beastmaster as well. Oh wow, she just exploded, didn't she? Well, I, I, I do try. I love how they almost, they look like brains and they spawn like... Oh wow, I think I shot his head off with that second. It has a very high fire rate for some reason. And I can swap it. Oh, that's the accessibility. Huh. So I can just... Okay. Why am I not using that? Oh, because I move like this then. I'm just gonna... Un snap that again. And if I need to take a sniper position... 
I'll do that. Man, we've come a long way since Bandit Selfies. You know, back when I started my first Bandit Clan, if you want an image of yourself, you gotta bloody up your face real good and then smash it on a rock. Okay, we got some great images of my righteous bandit bod. Now, the CLV have a 3D printer nearby that's producing those statues. Scan the wanted posters into the printer so we can print statues of me instead! Okay, oh, that's gonna explode. Took care of some varkets there really, really quickly. Um, but what is this? It's like this fancy gate and I can hear something behind me. Hi. There it goes. Ooh, that there goes a grenade. I think I stuck the grenade to the varkit there. Let's just open that up and then we have... What was that? That was a weird noise. Oh, wow. I kind of feel like the shot actually increases the damage of the explosion. Yeah, let's put that down again. I love the customizability of these things. Let's get the tripod going and then... Is that not a critical? I feel like I'm not getting the criticals I need to. That was a critical. There goes my shield. Go drone! They're using fancy guns. I don't know what that is, but he died. And then there's guys... Over. Oh. There goes his head. Oh, wow. That was a laser beam. There goes her head. And there goes her head. And I'm out of ammo. Great, but I can pick up my health on the way. Wait, do I need to manually pick that up? There we go. This keeps going, doesn't it? They're going off. There she goes. Oof. Ah, I'm so sorry about that. I, is it? It's normal, right? That I feel bad about shooting women in the face like this. Yes. I mean, don't mean anything by it. Just, I mean, they're the fully grown women that made their decision about life and stuff like that. They decided to become a bandit and get shot by me. Oh hi, hi. Ow, ow! Would you please? Here, throw. Ow, ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, almost dead. Almost dead. Are there more of those health thingies that I dropped? There's right, none here. Wow, I'm actually at the scanner for some reason. There we go, let's make those posters while I'm getting shot at. Can't be good for the scanner though. Do I have ammo by now? Okay, six bullets. Should be enough to kill whatever's shooting at me from there. There he goes. He's gone now. You saw him, right? He's gone now. And that's apparently it. I'm just gonna close this again. Well, how'd they turn out? What the fuck is this? Adapt and overcome. Knock this weapon trinket for use in the inventory system. Oh yeah, and I don't have any inventory space. So there's weapon skins as well. That's cool. Um, okay, so from now on, I'm gonna stop using, picking up green stuff. Are, are we in agreement on that? I'm going to stop picking up green stuff. I'm just still going to try and be as diverse as possible with my weapons. But there we go. A skin. And of course, there's two white weapons in a weapons chest after that. But let's check out the weapon skin. How does this work? Adapt and overcome. Um, and how do I... So let's say my shotgun. I don't really like the shotgun. If I inspect... Okay, so that's that ugly aquamarine color. Then I go, go and go with Retro Blaster, Goldilocks and Loads, and Gearbox Prime. So I did get the Deluxe Edition, so I'm going to assume that two of those are that. But let's go with a golden one, Goldilocks and Loads. There we go. And now if I go to the Sultan, it's gold. That's cool. So we actually get weapon skins. I am loving this more and more. Every single bit of this game is customizable, isn't it? Um, so posters? Oh no, statues. Yeah, golden statues of Vaughn in his undies. What a looker. Oh, come on. I know. Now, let's swap out some of those crabby old CLV statues for some of my perfection, as you so rightly put it. Somebody had to model this. I'm just saying. Somebody had to model this. I'm gonna, do I need to grab the statues? Oh, I lost my shotgun again. That's that's great. Um, let's smash those. There we go. And hello, glorious Golden Vaughn. Oh man, look at me now. 
Got my own statue. Just joined up with the number one clan on the planet. Go Crimson Raiders! I love this day! Okay. Fallen is a bit too enthusiastic to my face. There we go. And that's me! You know what makes the Crimson Raiders so great? Y'all kick ass like crazy and protect the weak. Now that is the kind of clan I can get behind. Okay. Through the speakers I was able to get on top of here. So I'm trying to get to locate that's that tower with the weapons chest. There it is. So how do I get on top of that? Do we just get on top of that mountain and go there or what? I think it is. It's supposed to be, right? So let's get grab the money. And then all the way up the mountain. And then all the way up here. There we go. Gravity didn't take me there. And get that open and we get basically crap. Although this is our first Molly one. A sho shock and corrosive shotgun. It's 4x12, which means that it's... Hmm. It's less spread out. 60 versus 48. It's seemingly a bit better, but it does consume two ammo per shot. But I can't accidentally throw it away. And I can switch between shock and corrosive. So let's give that a try. Oh, it looks really bulky. Really bulky. Um, I do need to place one more of those statues. So there we go. Smack that up good. When the Calypso see my golden visage, they're gonna be pissed. You know. Someday, maybe I'll give the whole bandit war chief thing another go, but for now, I'm really good rolling with you and smashing the COV into dust. Anyway, thanks for your help, and uh, come see me when you have a chance. And that we will. So I'm just going to have to check out the quest log, what other things we can do before we head back to uh, the Crimson Raider HQ, because... Oh, a lot has changed. Okay, I'm, I'm rolling straight to my vehicle again. That's, that's handy. There we go. And with that, we've actually done every side quest I've found so far. So we're heading back to the Crimson Raider HQ to talk to both Lilith and Vaughn. Because we're uh, done with Vaughn's side quest, the Golden Calves side quest, and of course the main quest where we killed Mudpiece and got the Vault Key back. So that we need to talk to Lilith for. So without further ado, let's do just that. There we go. First up, the most annoying one, Vaughn. Thanks, Bald Hunter! You made my dreams come true. I mean, who doesn't want little golden statues of themselves, am I right? You know, we may not have destroyed the COV today, but once they see those statues, they're gonna know who's in charge. They'll know! Okay. What the hell? You oh, hear that, Tyrene? Now worship at the altar of my abs! For my name is Vaughn! He's still doing push-ups, and we got a rare shield. But Lilith, the more uh, interesting character of the two. Hello. Vault Hunter, you really got the map? Of course I did, Firehawk. I always get the job done. Just Lilith is fine. You got the map? Nice! So, did you see any of my Sun Smashers? <laughs> and why do you smell like dust and skin? Murder party. Extremely dead. Tyrene Calypso did it. Condolences. Damn it! I never told them I... I... No! Sun Smashers never cry! If Tyrene Calypso wants a blood feud, she's got one! BLOOD FEUD! I knew the COV was dangerous, but it's even worse than I thought. Because that probably she means... I said that a bit before, but I think Tyrene might be a siren as well. It's not just a map, though. We use this to open the other vaults on Pandora. Every vault needs its key. Well, let's take a look. Been a long time. Okay, there we go. It's not charged. Let me take care of that. Ooh, she can Damn, just do that now. It's not working. Something's wrong. I should be able to charge it. We need help. There's only one person on this planet who knows how this Iridian tech works. Patricia Tannis. She's got a dig site on the other side of the valley. Take the map to her. Okay. Thank you. I'll catch up when I can. Have to track down a few loose ends for our ship. Okay. Thank you, Lilith. So that was productive. We also got two new weapons. Well, a weapon and a shield, so... The weapon is a high-fire rate TTR pistol. 
which isn't good. I did get the Wanderer head, so I might want to check that out, so let's unlock that. And then Golden Touch, I want to know where the gold at. 5% max health per second while shields are full, 10% movement speed while shield is depleted, and 80% melee damage while shield is depleted, and probably generates gold then. It's a lot worse in capacity and only marginally better in everything else, so... I'm gonna keep going with the reflecting and everything, so the purple one I have now, so might as well sell it in a second. So that's that, so no new weapons, sadly. Might as well check out Marcus's inventory really, really quickly before we go to the Iridian dig site. And I just wanted to check, the weapons chest underneath Marcus is actually refilling automatically, but they're all level 4, which is of course a way of not making this too overpowered. So let's go back up and check out Marcus's inventory, which is actually also leveled. Interesting, so even the, the shops are leveled, which is fine by me, just wanted to check that. So that means I don't really need to waste my time anymore at those weapon stations. Next time on Borderlands 3, we meet Patricia Dennis again. Are you screaming or am I having another one of my episodes? Maybe, I always hear screaming. <laughs>